Over the last month, I've been hunting ghosts in night-long vigils across Britain. I've had some strange moments, and I think I've learnt something about the rules of the ghost hunt. But today is Judgment Day, and I'm wondering, have I learnt enough about ghost hunting to get me through this, my final test? Well, now it's time to find out. So, uh, Angela's arranged to meet me at this pub in North London. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the connection between ghosts and pubs is, but it suits me fine. Um, I think she's in here. Thank you. If you're happy, we're going to get started straight away, and we're going upstairs. Angela was clearly excited, but she wasn't going to tell me what we were looking for. I was going to have to try and find out who was haunting this pub on my own. And I wasn't feeling very confident about it at all. It's, it's difficult though because presume I mean people live here and aren't there their sort of energies. Yeah, but you're actually calling in from something else entirely. Yes, you are. Okay. That is an um, a being, a person who isn't and shouldn't be in the physical dimension. The only thing I seem to be feeling at the moment is a sense of more sort of female than male. Right, that's absolutely fine. Okay. I should write down everything you say as well, just for our own record, but I know this is going on tape. Eyes. Sorry. Now, this is me thinking I'm picking something up, but then wondering if it's just like mine. I was thinking of a, a child. Yeah, but that's right. I, I, the butts will be the end of me. The butts and the ears. But no, all it was was because there's all it's children's things here, no, no, and I'm wondering no, if I'm taking respect. things with Close my eyes. eyes. I know. I had an image of like running about, like Great. long swishy right? skirt Absolutely when fine. running swishy about. Skirt. So you can I'm walk watching. around with that feeling. So you're Shall not going to pick that? up on a plant or on, a, on a, a door. You're just going to just have a little walk around here, just that little bit of corridor, and then come okay. back in. But try not to pick up on anything that's, that's actually here. Absolutely. To glaze over. Could you just say, please, would you give me your name? Okay. Okay, if anyone's here, please, would you give me your name? I keep thinking about like little and, fine, and, and great. so I guess that's child or, or very small. Adult. No, but no, there's no. a kind of there is a kind of childlike running about y sort of exuberant <laughs> feeling in this hall. Is that well, right? You're, you're not, doing well. You're not going to tell me. Okay. Trust me. It definitely was the only image I had. Like I said, was the skirt. So I'm thinking that that's the female fine. energy was. Yeah. Just let the very first little name that might pop in. Earlier, I. Th Thought I was thinking about like a letter E, but now I sound yes, like, that's I fine. Feel like I'm I, I need to know things. everything that's going on. Okay. <laughs> and I believe having got you to open up and tune in, what you've done is you've called in to this little girl who's going around swishing in her skirt and running up and down because there's a good reason that she's still here in this time zone. Was I right about little girl? Of course you are. No. <laughs> yes. Because you are. Oh my God. Where you've got to now is brilliant. Um, now I have no proof of this yet, but we will have it checked that Cecilia could have been the mother um, or aunt that looked after the little girl. I do believe the little girl's name begins with E. But um, this is who's been seen here and who's been running around at the place. Okay. That's really spooked me and <laughs> in a nice way. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> okay. What we're going to do is let you take a photo because we can ask her, and I'm asking her if she's happy to have a photo taken. My hands are shaking. <laughs> okay. Because you absolutely freezing. Yeah. Yes, because she's here. Seriously. Yes. 
She's around you, Amanda. It's Emily. It's Emily. Did you say um, you yes. said Emily, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Do you think that's how? It... I feel it is. Okay. It, it, but... I'm absolutely freezing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, 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 she's literally in that spot. Oh God, it's coming my way. <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure what to say about that experience, apart from I've never seen or heard anything weird in my life, so I'm not one of those people who seems to be prone to that sort of thing. And so when I actually did feel cold, um, I'm, I'm still just thrown, actually, by the fact that the things that popped into my head turned out to be so specific. I don't know how that happened. I guess I've always been open to the idea that there were people's energies, residual energies, but that something could kind of interact or that you could feel it is um, just just something I'd never really taken on board. And so now, now I've turned into a mumbling idiot as a result. So what, do, you've actually just a full sort of physical... Well, um... There was, there was a day, it was before I even had moved in here. And I was just sitting in a chair here and just turned around and there was a little girl just running up and down this corridor. Really? And I just thought, who's she? <laughs> and it was a proper little, little girl. Solid. Solid little creature, you know, so high, with a little white dress on. It looked very Victoriana looking creature. Right. Very happy. So I just followed her, I came up here, followed her, and went down the corridor, and she just disappeared. <laughs> My daughter sees it, has a little imaginary friend that really? we've never, I've never really gone into details with. <laughs> I just don't want to know. But does yeah. it seem to be very similar to the... Yeah, she says she's got a little friend, she says she comes every now and again and sees her, and then disappears. It was time to do some checking on the information I'd got from the old Queen's Head, so I went to the local history centre. But my first search didn't reveal anything, so I decided to try somewhere else. So I'm, I'm here at the uh, Family Records Centre, which is where they keep all the census records, because I thought it would be a good idea to have a look at the history of the people that lived at the pub, see who lived there, what families, and actually, most importantly, I really wanted to see if there was anyone by the names that Angela and I came up with. The Family Records Office holds hundreds of years of census records, every family and every house listed by street. I knew that the landlady thought the little girl looked Victorian, and I'd thought of the letter E, and Angela had said she felt the girl's name was Emily. Uh, oh, close. OK. They had very ornate writing. It wasn't long before it yielded results. Oh, 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 the Queen's... I think that's this Queen's Head Public House. Charlotte Amelia. Does that say Emily? No, it does say Emily. Are these ages? Emily, age eight. Gosh. In 1861, there was a little girl called Emily living at the pub who was eight years old. So I've got little Emily's birth certificate, Emily Saltmarsh. Um, I thought we couldn't find a death certificate for her, though. I had a really good look, but just records from back then are incredibly hard to sift through and a lot of people didn't register death at all so we don't know we don't know what happened to her but it's it is interesting it's really interesting that there was a little girl who lived at the pub called Emily weird Considering how many people have experiences where they see something that makes them think that ghosts exist, considering how many times that happens, and to such reliable people like the lovely lady who was the landlady at the pub, 
I think it's really hard to argue that these things don't happen. I think what they actually are, I still don't know. I'm really encouraged by the fact that there are people like Kieran out there in the scientific community who are looking into these things properly and it makes me feel really positive about the possibility that one day we will understand all of this. I'm still a bit uncertain about orbs um, and what they are. Um, there just doesn't seem to be anything that necessarily points to them being paranormal. What did interest me was um, Derek, one of the photographic experts, was explaining to me how digital cameras worked and how they don't just pick up light reflections the way that a regular camera does, but they can actually be affected by magnetic fields and by um, energies um, because of the way that a digital camera works. And that was curious because it suggested that a digital camera could make an image of something that wasn't literally physically there that you could see with your eyes. I was still feeling sceptical and then this is kind of weird because right where Angela said that the little girl was standing and when she told me to take a photo, look. <laughs> Next week, Jane ventures into the world of astrology. Can the movement of planets affect our personality, future and even love life? Jane Goldman investigates again next Tuesday at 10. And spiritualist medium and star of Living TV's Most Haunted, Derek Coral will be one of the guests on Loose Lips tomorrow evening at 10 past 5.